Okay, here's the uh, sample glass scene. Uh, it's got uh, a fair few uh, variations of glass, uh, different densities, uh, different refractive properties, uh, reflective properties, um, and uh, it's you know various levels of uh, opacity. So you see, it's like a sort of a uh, less transparent um, glass. Uh, you know, glasses that um, have sort of like that uh, metallic. Uh, glazing on them, so you, go, you can see where the colours change, sort of pearlescent. Uh, there's a sort of a metallic green there for a glass, and you can see through it. Um, a very deep glass, I think I've even got like black glass somewhere. Yeah, so sort of like a green bottle, maybe uh, amber. Um, there you go, it's like a, let's see if I can get, it's a bit like a, a ruby red, and uh, let's see if I can just rotate that around a little bit. And um, get the refraction happening back through it and the reflection. So zero that again. Okay, so yeah, brown bowl glass. Here we are. Yeah, that's a nice example of the refraction happening there again. And a black glass that you can just see through it. Um, you know, it's absorbing all the light. Uh, so you can see how you can get right down to, uh, if you've got a tinted glass, it's for a car or a smoky glass, here we go, so it has that sort of smoky colour to it, and it's a fairly dense glass as well. Um, and here's one that uh, hazes out, so it's, it's like um, a glass with a lot of impurities in it, it gets a very sort of hazy look. I uh, should mention that uh, with the glasses, um, the materials uh, can be treated just like the metals, um, the transparent materials, so you can, uh, you can have like a dirty... Um, streaks and you can change it so you can get like frosting effects and all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, right, but um, here we are. Let's go on to the clear glasses and then we can start to show you some of the refractive properties. Um, so let's see which glass this is. Okay, so this is the diamond. Now the diamond, um, if we can get it at the right angle, we'll start to see a lot of uh, chromatic uh, aberration happening. And if you get the angles right, like uh, say if we stuck that like a, a reflective surface underneath it, so like the um, like the gold or the silver that they stick underneath the ring normally, and then you really get, oh, there we go, and you really get some of those uh, colours coming through, and if that was to spin a little bit, I'll just try and spin it, you can start to see it all shining and breaking up there. Um, and that's that's a very dense material. I'll see that, like how crazy the density is on that, and i just sort of take it to this object here, and you see all the colours are going pretty wild and splitting a little bit crazily. Um, just out of interest, that um, diamond there, is faceted just as a real one would be, so um, it gives you an idea of how, how it would be working. Um, all right, now I think this is like a crystal, so uh, by playing with the um, clarity of it, so see this 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 glass here, uh, this sort of crystal glass is very fairly dense, uh, represents something that's denser than say um, the standard glass, which I think is uh, over here. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a standard glass there. So it's it's denser than that. Um, it also uh, I haven't um, tinted the uh, diffuse colour very much. I've left it in the middle, so it's fairly neutral. Uh, I'll just show you what happens when I turn it up and down. So there's not much alpha on that, but you can see how it um, changes the amount of light that's absorbed through. And if you set that relatively in the middle, you get this nice um, sort of sharpish look to it, and um, it gives it that very uh, clear, sharp um, crystal look, you know, right? crystal glass or something like that. And um, here's, I think, more like a standard glass. Um, so I've gone a little bit green, so you know, normal glass tints a little bit because it's a little bit impure. Um, and uh, it doesn't quite have the same brilliance as that does or the clarity of the diamond at the back there. Okay, now here's just um, just a clear blue glass. Now, okay, well, that's enough about, you, about um, all the different types of glass you can get. Now, going to go into a little bit more on um, the type of uh, effect you can get um, by combining them. Now, this object here is fairly interesting in that um, I've got uh, ice inside of another object, which is representing the liquid, which is inside of um, a third object, which is the uh, glass itself. Now, normally, that would cause draw order chaos. You would have um, things popping and drawing over the top of each other and doing all sorts of strange things. Remember, all of these objects are being um, rendered 
via uh, an alpha blend and yet there is no issues because the um, advantage you get with the pro shader pack um, is you get uh, draw first draw last and just plain draw um, variations of all the textures um, uh, shaders sorry so you can control these sorts of things right down to um, a fine degree now here you go so here we go i'm going to move the ice out so you get an idea that that is actually a separate object um, and i can you know drop that behind the glass itself you know it's still still showing up there and drag it through there you go right. um, i'll pull the liquid out as well wish i could do that for real um, and you can see how it works so now we get all that refraction and so forth happening move these objects all around each other and for the most part the uh, types of issues that you'd normally get are gone um, right now i'll just undo that and put that glass back together and then hit play okay now in a moment i'll turn on that light but for the moment i'll just leave it off um, you'll see as the glass rotates around that we're getting uh, reflection from various objects the uh, I'll come right in and you'll see the uh, you can see how the um, bubbles and so forth are um, uh, animated the ice moving through a bit of chromatic aberration happening there um, and earlier on I spoke about how uh, if you like the object like you would a real one you can get the type of effects that you would expect um, in a photographic shoot and I'll show you what I mean by turning on this light now there you go often you'll see um, in a promotion shot you'll get um, glass uh, a liquid or something um, and it seems to be severely lit from underneath and what they normally do is they cut a little hole un out from underneath the glass and, s and stick a light underneath it so this is virtually that same effect and you see it gives you pretty much the same result the uh, light sitting underneath uh, gives you that sort of uh, almost um, <laughs> surreal uh, lighting effect um, of something being too crisp and too clear and uh, you achieve it by doing exactly the same way and um, just to give you an idea I'm going to turn off the uh, main scene lights and uh, you'll see that the glasses behave as you would expect you know it um, there is this is part of the niceness of the uh, non-additive reflections in um, that under various lighting conditions it um, behaves properly so here we are and it's virtually only the ambient light and the reflected light which is keeping the scene you then you see all the different materials reacting in different ways based on their levels of reflection and so forth so let's turn that main light action fact let's turn the point light on by itself and you'll see the sort of result that it has through the glass as it goes through the glass because it's um, a little bit impure whitens up a little bit um, the liquid won't whiten up as much it will stay fairly clear but the ice because of the way that i've made the ice uh, will whiten up a lot there you go it's just like the green tinge coming through there on that light um, right let's turn the uh, main light back on and i'll turn the animation off and there you have it um, actually i'll just show you what happens when i rotate the main light around so just bring that down a little bit so you can see how the scene reacts to a change in light and how the light transfer so there you go that's like a standard coca-cola ad with the light coming from the directly from the side and because of the way that the light transfer works you get the nice black sections through the reflection uh, refraction and you get the uh, brilliant sort of amberish uh, brown coming through on the liquid um, as you would on a real glass and that's that's only with one light there you know I don't, don't need to don't need to play around with crazy light setups to get the effect that you need to fill in all the areas that aren't lighting properly um, the way the light transfer works it pretty much behaves as it should and there you have it so that's the uh, glass materials